today and this is a video meant for beginners who are just starting to put together two and three card combinations with the Lenormand. I'll be using the absolutely gorgeous Gilded Reverie Lenormand by Chiro Marchetti. I have several videos showcasing this incredible exquisite Lenormand. Um, the images are big and bright and great for videos and your clients will be impressed with it. You'll enjoy using this really lush vibrant lit up energy from these cards. So I'm going to use the man card. We're going to start describing him with some other cards. So if I take the first card and put it down and I get fish. So now we have a man who makes money. So this could simply be an entrepreneur, businessman, an abundant guy. Okay. And if we add fox at the end, it could be his job if you use this for a job card so he's putting these two together as just a man who is an entrepreneur it could kind of stay the same but this if we use it as a definition for sly manipulative he may be getting his money through cunning or manipulative ways so there may be a trickster here if we switch these two the guy himself is a trickster and he's getting money from it. So similar meaning, this final card is going to put the punctuation on your readings and it's going to tell us a little bit more about um, how things are done here. So if these two describe the, the person, this can describe the outcome or uh, tell us a little bit more about this. Kind of keeps breaking it down. So the man is what? He's a trickster. For what? Money. Okay, so let's try a few more. Let's keep this fish card. So we've got an entrepreneur, and then we add the house. So now we've got uh, kind of a business guy, and he works at home. He also could be putting it toward If someone home. asks if they'll get a house, this would be the, the card you're looking for. And if we switch him around, we've got kind of a homebody, and uh, he's making money. He still could be working from home, okay? He still could be working from home. Uh, this could also be someone who is a house salesman, makes money from selling houses. It could be a guy that is putting, saving money towards a house, so he's getting money, money, money. Okay, so now he's a little bit closer to the house and the business, so we're not talking so much about what he is and what he does. It's a guy with a house, unless he, when you add the fish, then you start adding um, that this is a business. If you were to add something like this instead, it's a guy that talks about houses, so this could be that guy on TV who talks about house repairs, how to pick out a house, kind of like an advisor for buying houses. If you put this at the end, we have a guy with a house and something crashes and ends, and the house either gets destroyed or he leaves the house as an ending that happens. But if you get this, then you get some something with a house and then something new happens. Okay, a little bit different. This is a stable, someone's kind of like a stable homebody. Let's try a few others. So let's go back to that fish card. All right, so now we have fish and we have the birds card. So now we have, this definitely could be a financial advisor. So a guy with money who talks about it. Or a guy with money who does meetings about it. Okay, these are just some ideas. I don't want you to think that what I'm saying is the only thing that you can get, but you can uh, definitely get these types of meanings. So this is a guy who's a, a talker. He does talking, and this is about money. So this is, could be like a guy on the radio who tells us things about money, similar type of a thing. A guy who does meetings about money. Let's pull out some more. Anchor guy that's very stable with his money. He really does some good uh, good things with his money and keeps it, keeps it secure. This is more of a secure guy. He stays there. And he may be working and, and dealing with money on the side, but it's like he's more secure. Now we have a guy who's an entrepreneur. He's a good friend. Okay, so this describes the man. He's kind of a money maker. He's very loyal, but if you go like this, you may get a loyal guy, but he's loyal to his money. 
money is at the end here, so this is kind of where he's going to put his energy. If moon is our reputation, this is going to tell us a guy that's known. Uh, his, his reputation is his money. Kind so of now like we have a guy gates. with money who has conflict. So conflict with his money, constantly trying to juggle the debt and deal with what he's got. This is not so happy as something like a secure anchor. If we get something like this, now we have a very argumentative guy, possibly even abusive, who is a money maker. So this is a very aggressive guy, aggressive, and he gets money, but he's got a very aggressive type personality. And if we get something like this, we get a guy who, with money, works about moving it from, say, place to place, bank to bank. With the snake, we now have a guy with money who is trouble. This kind of gives us an exclamation point of these two cards. Trouble, warning, look out. If we get this, the guy is trouble. He'll make you money, but ooh, he's trouble. You may end up paying for it, but money comes out of it. Key is kind of our answer. So the if we're looking for kind of an answer to something, this, this is related to this money, and you can take it back to the guy. So the answer, if you want money, the guy with the money is the answer. This can be sort of similar. We've got a guy who's the answer. It's the guy himself. Money will come, or he's abundant, or something's good about it. Okay. Guy, you got the man. So we have the man, the fish, and the stars. So the man, who's a businessman, money maker, and it, it happens on the internet. There's something on the internet going out there. So money with the internet networking spreading out. If we switch it here, now we've got a man on the internet who's making money. An internet kind of guy. This would definitely be Bill, Bill Gates or somebody that does uh, Steve Jobs, that sort of thing. He, makes money from electrical things and uh, can be also be just an electrician. So if this is electricity, we've got man. Also we could get something like this for electricity as well. This is kind of your, your light salesman, <laughs> your electrical company guy. Okay, so now if we have our business guy, he's got a business, it is stuck. This is our mountain card, if you can see that with the light, our mountain card. So we've got the business guy who's stuck. Now, if we got this, long way. We got a business guy who's got to go over a mountain to get to this a long obstacle to money. Because this is here, it'll likely happen. But because this is here, it's not going to happen right away, and it's going to be a lot of hard work. This is a man, and this is the path card of the crossroad. It splits, so he may make his money two different ways. He may do two different type jobs, so a part-time job. Maybe he fixes computers and then on the side he's an accountant or something, so two different things. Uh, or he may put his money in two places, a home and a timeshare, something like that. So there's a split of the money. Here we have a guy that goes in two different directions. Right? And money comes if it could be a very similar thing. He may even travel two different places. So he may go to two totally different jobs. Guy is very loyal to his money. He could also be invested uh, in something related to rings. That would be more like this, a kind of guy with rings and makes money off of it. But sometimes, you know, the Norman will, will turn the cards around for you, but this is more of an entrepreneur and he's loyal to it. This is more, this could be a jeweler. This could also be, we have it this way, a guy who fishes, and he's loyal to it. It's kind of like that guy in the song Mandy who's loyal to the sea. Uh, the ocean is my love and my lady. If we get something like the tower, which is our corporate card, uh, we've got an entrepreneur that goes big business, so it goes bigger and bigger. If we get it this way, we've got a real corporate guy. If you were to get a bear card with this in any way, so whether it's here, or here. We've got a boss. So we've got a guy who's a manager, makes money. This is also a corporate guy, corporate manager, top of the line. Okay, Money in there just kind of confirms that it's business related. If we happen to have 
this. We've got a man who makes money that is dwindling. So it's almost like uh, the interest rate is bringing it down, 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 or he has to buy more than he can sell. The business is going down. The, the mice tend to thieve away. Put it this way, you have a guy who's a thief. Okay, this describes this. You've got a guy who's a thief, and what is he doing? That's how he gets his money. He's getting it. So he ends up with the money, but he's doing it in perhaps devious ways. If you happen to have the scythe, something dangerous happens, it cuts and it can cut the fish. Some people look at the point and see what happens over here to cause it. So if I randomly, or I'm just going to grab a card. So if we put down the mice after it, we got a man who makes money and it's cut, and then you look at the point, the danger comes from a thief or something taking it away, doing the dwindling down. This is a very fast cut. This can be more slow over time, bit by bit. A mice, the mice tend to take bite by bite. This is a full blow, like everything is taken. If we happen to take, lastly, this, we got a man who makes money or entrepreneur, and we have the clouds. Um, what we have here is someone that's very confused about money. He may not know how to balance the books. He may not know how to do it. He may not, he may be an entrepreneur who's really confused about what he's doing. Uh, used to have a boyfriend like this. He never knew what he wanted to do, and it was always every week he was buying something and wanted to be an entrepreneur, but had no clue. He just wanted fast money. So this is a this uh, cloud card, and especially the dark side is, is over here by the fish and the money. A lot of difficulty dealing with the money. Now, if you get this, we got a confused or depressed guy. He's making money as an entrepreneur, but he himself has got issues, depression, confusion, uh, might be trouble, might be trying to delude people to get money. There's some kind of confusion, something happening. Even though uh, snake and fox can be lies, I've also seen the clouds to be lies. So you can confuse people into thinking they're getting one thing and kind of create a fog and then the money comes from it. But this is more tend to describe the guy. He tends to be, I think, a very confused, deluded type, confused person. It also can be, if you get at this, if this is our fisherman, this is just bad weather. So he's out fishing, he's getting just plain old bad weather. So those are some ideas that you can use in terms of shuffling your cards around. I would suggest that you take any card. So you can take, say, the fox, and then just pull some randomly some other cards with it and when you do that journal see what you get see how this card describes this and this describes that and then try shifting them around like this and see how it makes it different sometimes they seem very similar sometimes they seem very different you can also at home just take two cards so if we've got a kind of a uh, an internet manipulator or someone on the internet that's a that's fake then you can start taking cards on the right and say okay so what happens he's dangerous he cuts away creates obstacles with a mountain ah that helps him be a little lucky if he does that with the moon that's his reputation or he may do psychic work you get the anchor he's doing it for a long time he's not going to stop doing that anytime soon if you get the gift, this is a great Trojan horse. You get this guy on the internet and he's like gushing about how great and wonderful you are. And uh, it may bring you gifts, it may make you happy, but you may want to draw a card and see where you end up with that one because that's not always a good one. This is a fake person on the internet or a cunning or sly person. It doesn't always have to be fake and just be kind of cunning who's a, a crack at sarcasm, uh, dry wit. Uh, this is a, like an internet troll comes in and, and, and hurts people. And it can also be this, just danger. It can also be the snake, just kind of like different essences of that card and the extremes of it. So if you were to get something like these three cards, so if we have snake, whip, and scythe, so this is someone sarcastic, could be abusive, has patterns over and over of doing things on the internet that are cunning. This is big danger and bites really hard. It's almost like they start undercover and then they just lash out and get very bad. This is a very dangerous card. And this is fast and cutting. It's almost like someone that tries to cut other people down, uh, perhaps to build themselves up. So this is also very painful. And uh, that all three of these cards, you can see how they have similar nuances because they're tough. But if you get something more vague like 
the clouds at the end. It's a little bit more hmm, confusing. You can't figure it out. Is it or isn't it? Not quite sure. It's always kind of like the veneer, the fog, the, the illusion is, is always there and you're never quite sure what's real. And even when you know they're a fake, you don't know what the real parts are. So give this a try home and see what you get. Have fun.